Onivia, League of Legends highlights. With the engage, you send Pantheon in as the hard engage, as the delivery system here for the Galio. That can be a very deadly combo. So it was more, I believe this is going to be, you know, Muramana, Manamune style of build. That is so you can actually just try to target the Pantheon instead of trying to go for that juicy target of Deft, right? You know, Deft is already in the shroud. He has the summoner and he has the skill to wait to see, is this going to land on me before I flash? And he was able to execute on that. So as a result, they get nothing from that jungle pressure. And up on the top side, a plate has already gone down. Solo had to initially back off and now they're looking for a dive. The Ornhorn Horn is sounded off. Solo is able to find the knock-up onto Piyoshi, but here comes Galio as well, and surely this is just a death sentence for the FlyQuest top laner. He tries to tank it up, but DRX are way too clean. Bottom side, it's FlyQuest returning the favor on the other okay. end of the map. Turret going down, put the money in Doran's pocket. Solo just has to stand there. <laughs> oh, look at the emote. He knows. Follow-up ganks, follow-up aggressive play from DRX. Yeah, and I mean, you just have to look at the position in this game, but now maybe getting a pick here on Senna, no flash. Nicely done with a deadly flourish, and Turtle, his aim is true. FlyQuest will be very risky if they wanted to try to contest it. They know better, so FlyQuest will take this Drake no contest. And now it's... DRX with three men in the bottom lane. They got Pioshik shadowing them, just counter jungling right now, but in the middle lane, it's Power of Evil making the plays, bringing out the Emperor's Divide, but now it's going to be turned around, and PoE shut down by Doran. They try to get the pick there. Just be a, a a look if you don't feel that you need the MR, but FlyQuest oh getting caught boy. topside. Here they come. Look at the power of the long range engage, plus the follow-up from the Senna. DRX making it look no easy. tower. Uh-oh, Graves is looking a little bit sleepy right about now as Piosha goes in. Watch out, Ape! Here they come. It's Galio arriving with the grand entrance. Let's see if they can follow this one up with enough damage. Santorin still trying to get himself away. Caria is over the wall. He's got the spear. He doesn't even need it. Piyoshik is on the board. Plus, if they take one step too far in any of the lanes, and they have got so take much priority over the bottom side river and take that third drake. Exactly. I think FlyQuest is pretty smart to just back it up after you don't get a kill on objective, or DRX right. are just going to bleed you out of this game because the gold lead has continued to expand now from that position, not even having having the Ornn ultimate, so DRX are just expertly navigating this. Has control. Look at the ward line, man. Look at the enemy jungle. Look at FlyQuest's red buff and how many wards are the soul laners. It's level eight on the Thresh. How are you even supposed to find an engage so incredibly difficult, you know, being that outpaced? You know, even Santorin down four levels on Doran. Okay, here we go. Death Sentence comes out from Ignar. Caria is the target, but he buys a ton of time with the shield. Turtle running away, TP coming through. FlyQuest falling back, and Solo continues chasing forward, looking for some sort of an opportunity on Dechobi, who goes into the stasis and gets himself out. Deadly Flourish and Ornalti coming through, but they won't quite be able to find a kill. DRX is low health on multiple players, but the same can be said for FlyQuest. Pioshik's able to make the play. There goes the sleep. There comes the Senna ulti. Power of Evil's the first one to fall, and here comes Karia right back into the fight. Looking for the kill onto Ignar off to the left. He's able to find it. He's able to grab the kill onto Santorin, and Doran picks up another Fly Quest is destroyed, and DRX will win this fight without a single death. Nicely played there from DRX, and Chovy even on the hunt for Turtle. Oh, he's Stays found him. Behold the Turtle. He cannot do it. They are simply too far behind. The ace for DRX into the Baron. But there was no way out for the Azir, and he had to be the guy to carry the fight. So DRX knew it. And almost triple what Ignar has. And one thing I want to point out with this gold graph on the screen, like a Chad. Go watch that last team fight replay again. He jumps in there with a the now with a pincer attack. Four men in the mid lane, one in the bottom lane. The Jace is able to just dismantle the turret. He's nearly full build. He's five and a half items. Ignar's got 400 health. Caria on the front line, looking for the potential engage there. Power of Evil stepping away. Trying to hope for a miracle here. Hope that they can hold the line and continue to farm it out. Pray for that late game, but DRX are not going to give them the opportunity to do it. Closing down on another inhibitor. The top lane is already pushing, so they could go around the horn here and look to triple and hit FlyQuest, but here comes the engage. Deft disengaging, trying to get himself out of this one. The curtain calls opened up, and the railguns fired off. Doran dominating with the kill onto Solo as Power of Evil tries to protect himself, but the Emperor's Divide will not keep the kingdom standing. DRX 
pushing right on to the Nexus turrets. Wild Turtle barely hobbling away as Jovi moves forward and the winds of war will blow FlyQuest away. Carrie is into the wrong fountain, but the man don't give a damn. Take a shower and it don't matter. DRX with an absolute destruction of- Going to be Scion, so one of the less common picks, but it is something that could actually uh, scrap quite- He got hit by both Wukong ultis? That's what I was laughing at. He, he <laughs> only <laughs> lost 20% of his health. Wukong spun around on him and was pretty much just up here in mid lane. No man's using the ulti to get his opponent down to about half HP, but Karsa is now in the top side. You can see 369 going after the ulti. Not quite finding the mark, but Boss could be in a pretty bad spot. First blood's gonna happen off the map. We'll check that one here in a moment. TP's interrupted, and Boss, it's hammer time, baby. 369's oh. on the board. Rift, seven minutes into the game. Death's in bot lane, death's in top lane, teleport cancel. You might just die lane. again. Karsa's Boss here. into the top lane, but 369's trying to drag him over into the brush. The shield comes through. Wukong's got okay. the damage to pick up the kill here. 369's chasing Probably after him. Even but... further behind in combat power than the gold lead is telling you. Karsa in the enemy jungle won't be able to steal anything away, but hey, who needs to steal anything when you can just go for the kills in bottom lane instead? Lilia tries to show up, Swirl Seed fired off, right between the goalposts, three points, but they aren't worth a thing in League of Legends. Collapse coming through from the Unicorns of Love, Kars is in danger, gets himself back with a beautiful wild growth coming out from the Lulu and Jackie Love. He's got himself another one, 2-0 oh, and 2 here on the oh. Ash, and Karsa will cash in the- no man's, and he is really on the back foot despite building for this lane. Yeah. You will just have 13 and a half minutes into the game. 369 farming up. Play. Ash and Lulu just zoning people away, but instead, Nautilus is gone. Fishing the wild growth plus the flash. The follow up comes through. Oh no, you Yanj is going to get himself away. And oh! now, top esports, man. No mercy. No man shows up. The calling goes through. Are looking real good. That shows how much threat Top Esports truly feels like they're under. That looked like it was going so good, and then it went so bad, and now Jackie Love gets away, and Top on it where he always is playing these team fights over walls and playing from angles that you don't ex expect to really look for the maximum amount he can get from those guys of the weeks and fun to watch him play. Okay, Unicorns of Love. This one should be a kill. Gadget flashing away, making sure Jackie can't get something out of it. And there you go. Unicorns of Love will find their second kill of the game. Update on the turret plates. You are such a pain to deal with. And it's going to be mid lane tower going down. Drop it right as the dragon spawns. You want to respond to that to try to stop it from charging your tier two. But it means you now have lost position in and around this dragon pit. But UOL, they've decided we're going to fight for it. There they go. Nice initiation down onto the enemy jungler. That could be a big one, but Karsa gets himself away. Counterattack coming out. Boss nearly going down, spinning around in circles. Back to the fountain he goes. On a Gnostic running away as 369. Oh, he gives him the dabbing penguin, too. Just chasing away the rest of the team. Lily is stuck back in the jungle. Yuyanja with the ward over the wall. Oh, no. On a Gnostic. He thought he might have been able to get away. Yuyanja's just going to chase him down. <laughs> and now here comes Knight on a Gnostics on the run. Scatter the week. Say hi to Bambi's mom for me. See you later, Lilia. As Karsa, you know, 369 wasn't there at the very beginning, and it gave them some hope. Oh, Boss no. now maybe getting chased down. Boss thought he was going to get a 1v1 against a Syndra. Remember what I said about if Graves has nothing? It's going to be fully lights out. Yeah, I was going to say, I'll, I'll bet you... I don't know, a bunch of money, Isaac, that we don't see an Essence Reaver and an Infinity Edge together in Lucian's oh, inventory by the, the time this Mikhail's. one's over. But Jackie Love saved by Mikhail's Crucible. Three, six, nine, coming in from the oh, side. Oh, oh my goodness gracious, that damage. One versus four in the back line. Three, six, nine, damn, he's fine. Making the move, starting the fights, and guaranteeing the top esports and top gonna turn as we see you well coming over here they don't want to risk uh, getting killed at that baron but no man's you are in trouble my friend no man's tries to get himself away the flash will do it still trying to just get as much distance as he can That's there low. lots of damage from the lilia and ziggs nearly able to find the pick onto karsa but it will still be no man's who gets killed gadget with a sidestep barely evading the enchanted crystal arrow but now he's on the wrong side of the map 369 shielded up, walking forward, 
Gadget throwing everything he's got in his pockets. Man, that poor little Yordle, he's about to get his butt kicked. The projectiles go flying, Gadget goes dying. Three, six, nine, three, one, and 12. They're gonna try to fight at this Ocean Dragon, you have to expect, because uh, that is their hope, to find a pick here. But it is so tough. I mean, the fact that even Yu Yanjo went towards the Mikhail's was very intelligent. Jackie Love's on the front line against the Culling, being protected by the Lulu. Jackie trying to step out of the way, has to flash. No man still falls, Karsa goes godlike. Santos walking away with 300 HP, is 369, finds a way to cut off the remaining Unicorns of Love. Ananasik will be chased out. Boss tries to re-engage, but now he's got to once again fall back. 369 going underneath the enemy tier two turret, completely unafraid of anything. Now falling back as they do not have everybody nearby. Now Top Esports is going to go back. They're going to shop. They'll get back onto the map, and they'll just keep doing what they've already been doing. A TP showing up. Unicorns of Love maybe it No, never mind. That's 369. I didn't know who was TPing in there. Never mind. Boss is, uh, he's gone. He's gone. Forcing UOL to come to them, looking for the turn, looking to close this out. And Anisic is over the wall, but he has no flash. Can Lilia try to perform a miracle steal? Nope! Kars is there with the smite. Top Esports have the Baron now, looking to maybe send this one all the way home. Scion going the for bullet. the ulti. Will manage to get on the other side of the mid laner, and there you go. Wombo combo. Top Esports take down the enemy. Look at how little he cares about that turret damage. There's no reason he would ever need to care. This team is so far ahead in this game. Pushing down the mid lane now. Top Esports ready to go, ready to send this one into the history books. 25 minutes in, mid lane tier three turret under pressure. Top Esports nearly has that inhibitor turret down. There you go, come now. Volley to just put a little bit of poke down onto the Unicorns of Love. Second tier three turret nearly gone now as well as Jackie Love will finish off the inhibitor in the mid lane. Top Esports continuing to just take this slow and steady. Not needing to rush anything. Unicorns of Love, they don't really have a chance to fight here. Santos managing to buffer away from the CC of the knockup of 369. Top Esports, five in the enemy base. Sleep comes out, Karsa loses half his HP, but that's two big ultis. Jackie and Karsa both at half health. Boss looking for a chance to maybe jump in. 369 at half HP now too. Enchanted Crystal Arrow comes out. No man's forced to flash away. Top Esports walking back and the Ocean Souls healing him up, making it look like a fountain. Ananasic tries to jump out, but the Eve will not be enough. There's nothing to watch out for. Knight goes unstoppable. Boss goes down into the air. Goes no man's a double kill for Knight. And Santos will try to walk out, but it will not work until he just barely hobbles away. The Nexus turrets are done, man. 3-6, now he got hit by the laser! <laughs> it didn't move his health bar. Jackie Love finishes off Santos, oh. and really there is just nothing left to say. Top Esports did exactly what everyone was expecting them to do. Uh, plus Nautilus bottom lane, we just saw them run this last game against Top. It did not go well. It was against the Lulu support. This is different marksman, but it is against... Yeah. Both of his solo lanes have priority, but he chooses well, get instead him. to go back to his own bottom side jungle, and they want to collapse on Pioshik here as No Man's has moved forward. They're looking to follow up on this. Pioshik down to 100 HP, and the Unicorns of Love will find that first blood. Nicely done. I mean, they go so. Not really getting anything, but at the very least, they will be able to secure this dragon here for themselves on that recall. Yep. Uh, so that is nice to be able to see Ananasik expanding this advantage from that early kill he grabbed. have secured the objective all the way this, this time around. And they're moving towards the mid lane. Yoshik is hanging around here. Oh, over the wall they go. Nice play. On to the enemy jungle. Yoshik is down. Uh, looks like Chovy's. The Caitlyn is naturally going to get stronger and stronger. So Def Caitlyn could oh, be a big no. issue moving forward here as Gadget face checks the brush. And here comes the follow up. Caria ends up taking the kill and Gadget's in the ground. It's on a No Man's. Ooh, flash for flash. Very, very heads up there from No Man's. Making sure he gets out. But meanwhile, bottom side, it's a one for one trade. Caria does end up sacrificing himself here as Deft looks for the play onto Ananasik. He flashes away. The passive. But the Dream Dust is burning him away. Deft fires off the Piltover Peacemaker. Oh my goodness, they're both so close to dead. <laughs> I can't even Bambi, make any more not Bambi again. Jumps. He shot the deer with their shotgun and he gets the kill. The bomb flies through. DRX with three men in the mid lane trying to prevent any extra damage from this. Oh my Yikes. goodness, they're not even going to get the charge. Ah, uh, he That's... waited until the wave was already gone. It gave them so much time not to set good. up. 
not good as Orn joins the fight. Now both teams are bringing in everybody, and Ananasik's already dead. The charge coming forward from Doran, making sure to front line. This one is Chovy just expends the shockwave to secure that blue buff before the enemy team is able to contest that one at all. Turret plating going down here in about 30 seconds. Ananasik hanging out to the left. Uses the sleep on Chovy. They're looking for the dive. However, Pioshik's immediately there, dropping the smoke onto No Man's. Just blows him up. Yeah, you were uh, looking for the play there, but he was so far back when they're going for that drowsy, when they're looking for the sleep. And now Sancha's no flash. Oh, you are dead Sancha too. Sancha's stuck in the middle of uh, four It's all people. falling apart. Just, it's, it's quickly just disintegrating here for the unicorns of love. Def looking it's for reduced in cooldown by spending out those spells, and if you get it down low, you can finish off with the Satchel. They're going for a fight here. Ananasik nearly killed. However, the Graves now in a bad spot. Pioshik flashing away, and Boss has dived deep looking for the kill. He will not find it. A sliver of health is the difference maker in that one, as Def finds himself in a 1v2 against Santos and Gadget. He tries to kite away using the traps, sidestepping away from the bombs, avoids the minefield using the blast cone to get out, flashing away from the dredge line, but he gets hit at the very end by the satchel charge, and Gadget will take that the vulnerable tank like they did last game, having that Ocean Soul on 369. Uh, so there are some things working for them. You know, there's always more of a hope to kind of win, and win when you can actually bonus damage from that Ziggs ultimate. The problem with this is Karia as well, as we're going to watch Boss die. Oh, no. Yes, we are. Uh, Karia has Mikhail's, so he can do the same thing that we saw happen last game, uh, which is just cleanse off that sleep. So, Nanasik has to hit multiple members, right? And and that's where it gets... It's the scissors versus the giant meatball. It's not going to turn into any kill threat whatsoever, but speaking of kill threat, down here in the bottom... Nope. They tried to make the move. They thought oh. they were going to be slick. However, maybe they are. The sleep finds its way through, and Chovy gets blown up. They make a liar out of me. In that bottom lane to farm, gets killed. Same thing happening here from Chovy. Chovy was kind of out, but he turned around for the fight. Oh, uh, no man's is caught no shopping. Man's, what the hell? He's okay, browsing. Okay, well, he was doing some window shop. And no man's got caught. So, unfortunately for Unicorns of Love, that gives over some yeah, Ormog step forward. And you can kind of do that infinitely against the Camille as long as you don't let the Camille move up to that tower. And oh, no. Oh, you're dead. Speaking of Camille, this is such a feels bad game. He's at 210. Yeah, he, is, he is so strong. I mean, even the levels, right? Now, now he's 14. He's higher level than anyone on you well as the jungle, right? And it's not even worth a try. Uh, you yep. can see that Leandry's done now for two of the members. And honestly, of course, uh, there is dive, there is engage on DRX, and here it goes. Hornhorn sounded off. Santos is the target. Zig Zulti able to find its way onto Caria and Death Boat. TP coming in, but Santos in some trouble. Going to be taken Boss. very low, nearly killed. Boss oh. into the back line, Boss into the ground. X Tech ultimatum gets him out, but the ace in the hole comes through, will be blocked by No Man's. Doran with the chase, looking for the kills here. Pioshik takes the credit. Such critical health bars on the side of Unicorns of Love. Doran gets himself away. He'll barely stay alive. And DRX is looking to chase down these fleeing players. Gadget has almost no mana whatsoever still left. They will try to kite this one away. Pioshik chases after. Gadget's the first one to fall here. That's the wrong base, bro. Adonasik is trying to get out of there. He's spinning that thing around in a circle. He's fighting some minions. Watch out. There ain't no Eep. That's a sniper rifle. Bambi got him. More dim here for UOL as they get wiped off the map by DRX in that team fight and trying to teleport in here to get something done, okay. but okay. Yoshik is so strong still. No man's and boss trying to fight against these guys, but Dorian has just eaten that whole calling. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh baby, we got ourselves a winner! DRX with the double kill on the jungler. Another Baron, Gadget here, trying to look for some sort of a seal. Nanasik does have flash. You've got to try. You've, yeah. you've got to try to make something happen. 8,000 gold down, you got no choice. Ananasik and Gadget, what's it going to be? Can they make some sort of a hero move here? Zig Zulti comes through, Ananasik oh! over the wall, he gets it! The pineapple with the...
this point. He's got, he's got, an got the affinity edge. Yeah, I mean, he's got the upgraded black cleaver. Like, he is so ridiculously strong. Eight kills. This great. So they're trying to utilize this Ziggs wave clear to hold the lines. The Baron is Warmox. So you give him a couple seconds, he's going to be right back to full. And here comes DRX on the other side. They're taking the dragon. They're sieging the base. They're defending on the top side. They are running the map right now. And the first inhibitor going to be comfortable to just hang out here by himself. He still has brown boots. This is one of those games where you go back to shop and you got 3,000 gold every time. Flash over the wall from Chovy. Santa with the flash follow-up. Nice pick. Comes out for the side of Unicorns of Love. That's big for them. Every kill is the patience of the, a saint the here. The patience on this man. He's waiting. Just chilling. Having a great time. Okay, here we go. Starting off, Red Smite goes through. Collateral damage comes out. Ornhorn! <laughs> nope, not quite, but a flash plus the end of the line. Might be able to pick up another one here oh. on the No Man's. Instead, going to be shut down. Lilia gets the kill onto the Graves, and Ananasic will make yeah. got to make big calls. You can't just allow your opponents to get back in the it. game and bring Graves back. This will be Baron number two for the side of Unicorns of Love. They get it, and they get out. This is the closest one-sided game I've ever watched. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> they're just hanging on. It. Santa's trying to get himself out. Nice CC down. The last item he has to upgrade is the boot. He probably won't even upgrade it. He just sells it and buys another crit item. As DRX uh -oh. looking for Ananasic here in the mid lane. That's the damage you need. Death with the ace in the whole line. Oh. Up, knock him down. Not quite. But it's Caitlyn against the Zonias. Just put the cupcake underneath the golden statue. Walk away with your free win. DRX pushing down the mid lane. Now they've got the 5v4. Baron power play still up for another 70 seconds. But having that man disadvantage will probably prove to be too much anyway. Oh, Ziggs, you were too far out there. He could actually just get caught. Yoshik's on the way. He's got the Lulu speed buff. He knows what his mission is. He has no hard CC to interrupt it. Oh, there was the Ziggs there a second ago. The hard no, who CC needs hard ZC when you can one-shot him? Yeah, just shoot him twice. <laughs> That's what I always say. Okay, well, couldn't even finish the sentence in time, and now it looks like DRX will be able to finish the game. Santos tries to get out, but a shockwave seals his fate on the steps of the fountain. DRX with the five-man push looking to end this game. It was a valiant effort from the Unicorns of Love. They stabilized for an incredibly long time. But the pick on Ananasic in the mid lane into the follow-up in that bottom side there. The Very little, sadly. But when he does pop off, when he does find his moments, he is ludicrously strong in team fights, ludicrously strong on side. It looks like it's going to be a collapse. Here comes Graves across mid lane. They're going to fight for this. And the ward here, very easy for TS to predict. This will be relevant. Keep our eyes though on where the damage is going to go. That's going to be a flat forward. That's going to be a taunt onto two. Do they win out in the sustained fight though? Because Santorin is already level two and he does so much sustained damage. Still a squishy little Bambi action there though. So he's going to have to back off. Yu Yondo now running for the life. They're going through. And that's going to be first blood coming in for FlyQuest. An excellent start. TS didn't have. It feels like for Fly to try to break the bot lane matchup rather than trying to weather the storm. As you see, the hook does land. Maybe they can't get a little bit more damage down. The sidestep. That is not the binding you were looking for. Turtle and Ignar coming in clutch. Trying to play this one out. A little bit of confidence. Power Fist goes in. Trap goes down. And now. Two and a half thousand gold, seven minutes into the game. If you told me it was TES, I would have believed you without looking. You tell me it's FlyQuest, I want to know more. And right now, he's on back here as he now wants to return to the top side. This is a bit of a long con play. It's going to be a lot of wasted time if this does not go in the favor of top esports. But that's going to be the whiff and definitely not the one that they were looking for. Now, Boomerang isn't going to be back up for solo. He's not able to pick it. <laughs> Throws out the 10 icon, says try, try again. But the Ura got out. That's going to be it. Pull him back in. Oh, God, it's still just as gruesome, even if it's the Pajama Guardian. Oh. I know, seeing the way that TES have played this entire tournament so far, that something could go wrong at any moment, that all it takes is a single play from TES to turn it on its head. But for now, FlyQuest in complete control, and they're looking to find the pick here on tonight. The taunt coming in, but he's just going to get shuffled right back. Easy use of the Emperor's Divide coming in from Power of Evil. Very nicely done and very patient uh -oh. now, as here comes 369. 369 walking forward is going to be a slow fight. Sandstorm dodging around the side of the pit. If any CC does manage to connect, and it does, he's going to be in trouble. Very squishy still on the Lilia this early in the game. So Karsa is going to grab that one, and it looks like Harold will go over to T. Doesn't want to use this mic quite on that one until he's absolutely forced to. Turtle will break. Harold is dropped down behind the Caitlyn. That makes sense. You want to try to funnel as many plates as possible into her, but here's a potential dive. Santorin going to be in trouble here, though, because once again, he is very, very squishy. 
And that is going to be Venison for the side of TES. Easy finish out on that one. And Solo might just be another name on tonight's dinner menu as he's going to get poked out as well. Karsta with the blast to the face. And it's it's already starting to look a little bit rougher for FlyQuest. Oh, they been... can still get a Consolation Drake on the back of that one, but it does mean giving up some of the gold advantage that they worked so hard to Which build up. obviously going to feel really nice for FlyQuest because A, they spike really well on two items and then continue to spike really well. They have tons of scaling potential. But ultimately, Wild Turtle and FlyQuest continue to break over open this map and try to accelerate the game. And this is one of the difficulties of Summoner's Spellbook, is that obviously when you have a spell like Ignite and Flash, you absolute MVP of dodgeball in his elementary school class. No doubt there after that one. What Good was... damage to him, but not going to burst him enough to take him out of the fight. Look at the mid wave. Oh! Going over the wall. He's going to get locked up. It looks like they might just have enough damage. Now 369 trying to sidestep, trying to make it out of this one, but they're not able to take him out quite yet. They've burnt literally everything on the Urgot, but it looks like it was the right choice. Now they're going to have to concede a tower. Fly quest. Again, a lot of patience, especially around Santor and Ignar. Woo! Santorn uh, securing the, the fly quest started for him. <laughs> Solo finds the boomerang that someone is in that brush. Ignar says, why not? And goes ahead and pulls Urgot to his death now. Oh. Two for one special. Look, I said that they might not be able to kill 369. They obviously wanted to prove me wrong. That's two in about 30 seconds, let's say, give or take. Where they know that the Gnarl will not come to bear. The question is, can they the fight anyway? They poked Jackie up, they maybe just kicked it off, but that's Knight on the backside looking for the taunt. Wild Turtle now locked up. Who's gonna get it in the end? It looks like the Ocean Soul has been secured by Karsa. FlyQuest now running for the hills, but they'll find two kills off the back of that. TES may have saved themselves from an Ocean Soul, but it still looks like they're gonna lose the fight. The scoop back in. Wild Turtle says, give me another. And that's looking like a triple as it comes through in the end. Clean again when this Baron drops and all that extra money goes into FlyQuest's pocket. And now they have to survive the siege. Flyquest should just play the map with this Baron buff, continue to snowball their own gold lead, closing in on a uh, really nice, but um, Flyquest should be sitting on a bunch of gold because of the towers that they've taken. So I don't think they're going to try to force their hand too hard here. Um, if they go wrong, they would give a lot of shutdowns over. Big arrow, Mikhail's fall out. Oh, deep teleport! This flank could be massive. Keep in mind, it's a low health bar for Jackie Love, so they're going to have to play this one out a little bit slowly. Jackie Love has reset yeah, his position. Line. Knight has uh, flanked. FlyQuest have spotted him out. Out, but you can go out looking good after a game like this against TES. Arrow going to connect on 369. They're going to pull him back to the middle of the team. The follow-up is there, but they can't quite get it done. Carson now leaping into everyone. Wild Turtle going to be isolated, taunted off to the side. That's going to be massive. Maybe, just maybe they can turn it back. But Fly say no, not today. Chasing him down. Solo, Bobbin, Weaving, moving forward in the fight. Is Power of Evil. Looks for still coming out on top. Yeah, it's just the shutdown bonus. I believe it was Knight who got the shutdown as well. Um, so, on the Galleon. Absolute control. They're going to grab another Baron. Lux Hall. All but unstoppable here in this game versus TES. So what you're looking for is again... Still a good little bit of poke. Obviously the frustration of sieging against the Caitlyn is you can do what you can to protect that. But oh, there goes Karsa. We were waiting and they found it. That's one hook and that might be all it takes. They're not the way. Zoom down there as the next wave will crash in the top lane. Ignore with a hex flash over the bush, but it's 369 in the middle of the entire team. He goes golden and now Knight's in the midst of the back line. Santana pulled in and snared by the trap. It's clean play, but it's not nearly enough because it's Solo on the backside. Solo looking for redemption and TES getting torn to pieces. FlyQuest, where were you in week one? You might have showed up. And it certainly looked good. Here it is, FlyQuest taking down TES. What a sight to behold. Doubling down on the good level one from their previous match versus TES has to be riding a high. You know Blitzcrank's a confidence champ. Get under the belt, so fly quest. The potential of an all-in starts to grow. No man's is dead. Happy B. Sad B for no man's. Individual lane matchups, but with a little bit of jungle help, they certainly could. Is Anasek continuing to give up jungle camps here and there? Hold that thought. That's going to be the lockup. That's going to be the snare. Now the Lulu's going to be in trouble, but they're chasing down Wild Turtle. Only level five for Gadget. He has to kill this Jin. If the ulti comes out, Lulu is probably dead here. Ignar now in trouble as well. Santorin on the way down. That's going to be another trap locking it up. Gadget trying to run for the hills. The sidestep just barely against the wall, and it looks like Santos is going to drop here. Clean kill pickup for Wild Turtle, but Anasek ready with the punish. Doesn't look like it's going to work out. Uh, Anonis has to be really careful here. It's going to get locked up to flash forward. That's the pull back. There's not any mana for anything else. Anonis trying with a fancy footwork, but he's not going to be able to dodge out on that one. Gadget has to be careful here. Wants desperately that... Oh, no man's in the mid lane. Oh, look at mid lane. They've given up two. Look oh, at they're dying in the castle. The castle is dead. Yeah, a little late there, but we, we got it in the end. Okay. You don't so want to take this victory, because I think you should feel good about it. This is a damn good performance for FlyQuest. The trees in the ocean will. Shout out to FlyQuest.
There's gonna be some good donations today. Oh. The drowsy on the ultimate was just very nice. That was a chef's kiss sound, if you couldn't tell. And now we've got an engage on the top side, though. Big all coming in. That's going to be traded back, though, on the Dominus. Trying to one-shot the Twitch before he can use the expunge. Leaping in, leaping out. Solo, just a little bit of healing. Gadget in trouble. Minions! Oh, cast level up. Are you oh. kidding me? Oh, baby. Gadget. The seed. All right, there's no Twitch in the area. Gadget has made it out. No man's has not. No, no man's is dead. What's happening on this map? Um, A, if you're just tuning in, FlyQuest are dominating, just gapping things yep. for you guys. No man's, he's not gonna be relevant for a very long time. They're running for their life, Power People wants the 2v1. The rest of the team now coming though, and ooh, they can, it's not gonna connect with the ults now coming in, they need to sidestep. Santos needs to body block, but he's been pulled away. It's Gadget on his lonesome, but they're still there. Boss on the backside, that's a big shutdown. Now they have to give the respect, now they have to back off. They know it's gonna be in trouble. Santorin over the wall with the Swirl Seed can sleep and not a sick, but he might wanna wait on the cooldown there. No Good damage now coming in, that's the snare as well. Solo so powerful, but now Polymorph, he needs to heal up with the cold of meat. Coming in just in time, but not nearly enough. Wild Turtle taking down No Man's. Fly still on the hunt, they're at a man disadvantage, but their pockets are filled with gold and they're looking to make it work. Gadget needs Gadget, to be really careful. Stepping forward, that's fourth shot. Uh, Whoa. Okay. <laughs> All right. Power of Evil, knowing the team will come in time. And Credit to Santos. Uh, you know, blocking the hook right there, flashes away. Wild Turtle doesn't get the snipe. You can then get a nice shutdown on Bane. At this point in the game. Now, keep in mind, got, this is the this is the glass half full. So bear with me because I know optimism probably shouldn't be what I'm. What More I'm, fights where Gadget keeps being the beneficiary of some gold, a little bit of extra XP, a little bit of extra time, then you will may find a way back into this game. The Solo now running for the hills and already some good damage going down. Boom, boom. Graves all not even connect, does not want to share that gold. Listen, we saw Power Evil being escorted by Sandorn on one side, and then you have President Gadget being escorted by Santos on the other side. Set to contest this one. Keep in mind, Solo's still on the top side. He doesn't have a TP. Jinal could try to steal this, but they are going to grab it. There you go. Clean Dragon pick up for the side of Unicorn to love. Now they have to get out scot free. This is the tough one because two of them are asleep. Malphite, though, unstoppable as he makes position. They leap in. They do a lot of burst damage up front with that Twitch ultimate. But if they can't finish the job, Power of Evil can tear you a well to pieces. Now they're looking to break open. And if they're smart here, they'll take the tower, but not the inhibitor. They don't want to get past that anymore. Good thing is, is he doesn't necessarily need to because they pushed in all the way to the inhibits. Oh, they found Malphite. That's a rock. Where's he going to go? He's sleepy. He's Here comes Power Evil. He's going to make it out of all time ultimate, but not nearly good enough to turn the fight. That's going to be a pick for FlyQuest. This team played really well uh, around mid lane wave and constantly forcing TES to make decisions between, you know, are we fighting the dragon? Are we picking up minion waves? And Ignar. they're doing the same thing to UOL. Oh, 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 oh. But now the chicken follow up. They need to speed on out of there. All coming in. Oh, solo off to the side. They're corralling him. Gonna have to walk away. Santos is just gonna be a name on the list. He's gonna get knocked down. Taken out. Boss is just about to get his though. That's gonna be big. No man's also reasonably strong if he stacks up that ult a few times. Santor not in the pit. No man's now sleepy. He is going to alt out. He gets a little bit more space. But the watch out heat goes a little bit early. Santorin, though, burning a stopwatch. FlyQuest not able to take the Baron off the back one, though, but they will find a pick. Boss now in trouble. Ulti going to be up just in time for him to use it to get out again. Oh, the silence nope, from Ignar. Time. Holding on to it, opting to give his life instead, knowing the 40 second death timer lower than the ultimate cooldown. I mean, he had like a small window where he could have used it to, used it to get away, but uh, FlyQuest did manage the CC really well. Ignar using the silence, and then he was immediately kind of shoved into a wall and stunned up. Oh, you know, TP. maybe if he's just hard smashing the button, he gets oh, it. Oh no, Gadget's been caught out. Croc versus Rat. Croc wins every time in melee range. Solo. Now going to return to safety. FlyQuest taking down the Baron while Solo and Ignar start to zone. A little man-to-man -man defense here. They're going to back away. TP now coming no in. Solo making it out as well. No man's trying to hunt for something, but FlyQuest have already gotten the bear, and they're just trying to find a single pick, a single denial here. But Solo is still alive. He simply refuses to go down. No man's will grab the kill in the end, but now it's Turtle on the back side. Again, two shots left. One going to find it. Two looking for the finish the kill off here. One more auto. Turtle can taste it. He's so close. The shield just barely going to stop him, but there's the dancing grenade and the double for Turtle. Boss. Now running for the hills, FlyQuest absolutely dominating here in these last few exchanges. Boss barely in Now they're going to grab their second Drake of the game. Of course, no Drake soul for you all. The fastest that we've seen a stack, I believe, was 14 minutes with Crown Shot. Yeah, that one was a little nutty. Got that, that game item. got very quickly out of control. Yes, We're looking did. at Ignar to find a hook. As uh, Unicorns Love actually have a lot of time. 
Trying to clap on Solo, but you got to keep your eyes on that hook coming in from the Dignar, trying to pick him off, and No Man still going to be able to cancel that grab and make it out. So that's a clean pick. Cost them to try this. Wild Turtle can just grab this one. Anyone? Dragon tries to reset. Wild Turtle can finish it. 6K getting lower and lower. Solo on the way in Santorin as well. That Renekton can do massive damage if he gets into that fight. I think it'll hold on to the Drake. They're now flashing forward. That's going to be a big knockup, but really only connecting on Ignar. Power of Evil meantime in the back line. They pull through, and that's going to be it. Massive fight coming in. Gadget. Getting isolated, getting picked off. Anonisic trying to get anything back, but it's not going to happen. Quadra kill for PoE. Oh, and he's on the hunt for the Penta. That's the TP out. Wild Turtle wants to cancel, and he'll do it. It might cost him the Penta kill, but they'll get there in the end. And this is what we're talking about. One fell swoop for FlyQuest here, wanting to end it instantly, and they'll find the opportunity to do so. Unicorns of Love bet it all on that Baron, but this time the coin comes up tails, and FlyQuest Going to finish their tournament in style. Take down TES, take down the LCL and the Unicorns of Love. FlyQuest and the 2020 World Championships at 3-3. Three and three. Feels like a safe pick, and I like the way the TRX have rounded out their draft here. Just feels very stable. I feel like this draft is just absolute draft kingdom. Of course, Def not really able to win out on the sustained damage trades. Here is, oh, whoo! Teams fight over kindred marks like this in my entire life. I have asked in every. Yes, I made a kindred only account. I've been grinding it. I got it up to level 20. Has to potentially bully out here. So we'll be able to take this one down. More money into the pocket of 369 as Death will finally break mid lane as well. And make it work. Who can find the team fight on their terms? Because so far this has been. Slow incremental advantage building for... The thing that it means things in the greater scheme of things in terms of that I still like DRX's composition better. Oh, here we go. Big Horn Horn. 23-38. 23-38. Can they live? Are we going to get the latest first blood of the world? Who's it going to be? Doran now getting caught out. Can they keep the fight going? This is it. The latest first blood of the world. But who is going to get it in the end? They're running for the hills. They're buying a bit more time. Choby's got the extra shield now coming in, but it's Vladimir right on the backside. Big ulti, but maybe not big enough. Choby seemingly going to be the first to go down here. The dash out. The Predator not quite enough, but he goes through the portal. And there's Piochik with the ult. Oh, boy. Okay? Nobody's <laughs> dying. Oh, man. What? But TES are going to get this mid lane tower. It looks like never oh! mind. Knight's done. He has shown up. And now the follow the flash immediate from Jackie Love. And just like that, the game explodes. Knight with a clean shockwave, clean follow from TRX, except the loss on that one. Gold was dead even after that fight, but will not be dead even when this Baron falls. This is the opportunity to control wards and find the flank point. Uh, that barred ultimate was has been lulled into a false sense of complacency because that is going to be Baron for T. Ship? They don't know. Oh my god, this is flawless play around Fog of War. Carry is walking forward. They think they have the bait. They don't know. They don't know. Oh, but the follow-up. I don't think that was a good Bartle. That might not have been good at all, but maybe they can get the follow-up fight as well. Now instantly Knight's gonna get popped. He has to find a time to use the shockwave. 369 has been zoned away from the fight by Doran. So far, so good for DRX. That's gonna be the two-man knock -up. So once again, 369 trying to find his way to the back line. He's found death. That's gonna be huge. Can he take him out? Death trying to heal up as much as he can. He gets the magic damage shield coming in from Galio as well. It's a close fight. DRX in the lamb's rest, but the break is all they need. The rest is all they need, and they find that one. So beautifully done, Knight, because this is a big A. AP Galio and the Bard ultimate kind of stalls it's getting underneath, knowing that both teams are going to be gearing up for this uh, oh dragon no. and trying to find someone out oh of position. No. They've all walked face first into the Vladimir, but who's caught who? Who's going to be able to find it? Piotr going through the arrows, finally going to connect. They've held on for now with the Lamb's respite, but Knight coming in over the wall. The Baron set in the sights. The Dragon, rather. Dragon Soul for TES. Can they secure it? There's no way to stop it. They managed to grab it. That's Mountain Soul. DRX. This isn't the fight that they want anymore. They're pulling away. Def trying to throw down some last minute. in six minutes. And a two and a half gold difference. Two and a half thousand gold difference, but triple Mountain. It's going to be killing. Meanwhile, you can see Dorns immediately pulling the trigger and backing with his Bard as TES have called DRX's bluff. DRX were running up mid lane, and now they must respond to the charge that TES have on the spot lane. Again, DRX thought the from the enemy team. Now we have the rest of the damage coming in. Death Dalt not going to do Look too at the much. Detail the knock up onto Jackie Love. Vladimir now coming in. Galio on the backside as well. Death with the immediate Mikhail's out to safety. Now trying to run, but that's going to be it once the front line is gone. The fight is surely over. Big fight for TES. Do they try to push their advantage here and just end the game? So many cooldowns are gone. There is no Lamb's Rest, but there the is ultimate. no Shockwave's going to miss, though. And that's big. Kyosha healing back up. They need to get the wave clear down here. They don't have a ton of tools to do so, so it's going to be at least one. That's going to be the taunt in the middle of the fight. That's going to be the follow-up. Kyoshik now going in, but they don't really have a good option for damage. But Jackie Love taking so much back in return. Death, though, now the one in trouble. Forced to flash out for safety. The flash into melee range, and the shotgun to the face. It's 369, now looking for a little bit more, and that's going to be it. TES, they find the fight in the base that they need. 
Terry will buy a bit more time, but TES now just get to have fun. They now get to enjoy it. It was a chess match for 38 minutes, but in the last 20 seconds, it has been an absolute brawl, and it is TES who have come out on top, doing their region proud. They flash RNG, they flash IG, and now they're looking to style on the opposition as they will secure first seat.